Good day, this is Judy and I'm Javier and I will discuss the standard precaution and transmission-based precaution. So what is standard precaution? Are the minimum infection prevent and control practices that must be used at all times for all patients in all situations. These practices are designed to both protect DHCP and prevent DHCP from spreading infections among patients. Standard precaution consists of the following practices include hand hygiene, use of the personal protective equipment, respiratory hygiene, sharp safety, safe injection practices, sterile instrument and devices, clean and disinfected environmental surfaces. So what is hand hygiene? It's considered one of the most important infection control measures for reducing this spread of infection. Hand hygiene is a general term that refers to any action of hand cleansing, such as hand washing or hand rubbing. Personal Protection Equipment or PPE Protect the healthcare worker from exposure to blood and body fluid substances, personal protection equipment that complies with relevant Australian standards shall be readily available and accessible in all health services. Respiratory hygiene are term used to describe infection prevention measure to decrease the transmission of respiratory illness. A respiratory infection is spread when a person who is infected with a virus cough or sneezes. Sharp safety. Sharp safety moves percutaneous injuries. Needle stick cut with a sharp object. Among DHCV involved burst needles and other sharp instruments. Sharp injuries continue to occur and pause the risk of the blood-borne pathogen transmission to DHCP and patients. Most exposures in dentistry preventable DHCP should be aware of the risk of injury whenever sharp are exposed. When using or working around sharp devices, DHCP should take precaution while using sharps during cleanup and during disposal. Safe injection practices are intended to prevent transmission of infectious disease between one patient and another or between a patient and DHCP during preparation and administration of parenteral. Safe injection practices are a set of measures DHCP shall follow to perform injection in the safest possible manner for the protection of patients. A sterile instrument and devices. Instrument processing requires multiple steps using specialized equipment. Each dental practice should have policies and procedures in place for containing, transporting, and hand instrument and equipment that may be contaminated with blood or body fluids. Clean and disinfected environmental surfaces. Policies and procedures for routine cleaning and disinfection of environmental surfaces shall be included as part of the infection. Prevention plan. Cleaning removes large number of microorganisms from surfaces should always be preset disinfection. Transmission-based precaution are used in addition to standard precaution when standard precaution alone may be insufficient to prevent transmission of infection. Transmission-based precaution are used for patients known or suspected to be infected or colonized with epidemiologically important or highly transmissible pathogens that can be transmitted or cause infection.
we have three different types of transmission and precaution. Number one, we have contract precaution. Use for infections, disease, or germs that are spread by touching the patient or items in the rooms. Number two, droplet precaution. Use for disease or germs that are spread in tiny droplets caused by coating and sneezing. And third, airborne precaution. Use for disease or very small germs that are spread through the air from one person to another. That's all, thank you.